So the primary purpose of this passage um, is to what? And so, you know, when you when you do primary purpose uh, questions, you need to identify the main purpose, not things that simply occur within the passage, and that's usually where the wrong answer choices come from. So A, define the concept of globalization and offer a specific example of how it works. Well, there was no specific example, so that's not it. Uh, explain the causes and effects of globalization. You know, some causes and some effects are mentioned, but that's explaining them is not the main idea. Um, C, explain what globalization is and contrast two primary attitudes towards it. So the passage was about supporters and critics. I mean, that whole second, long second paragraph is about supporters and critics of globalization. So this is tempting. Uh, D, argue that globalization has more negative than positive effects. No. And E, discuss the historical development of global markets. Now, there's no real history lesson either, aside from a little bit about, you know, about the 80s and 90s. So that leaves us with choice C, which is predominantly what the passage was about. Uh, pa paragraph one was about what globalization is, and the second paragraph was contrasting the two primary attitudes.